Red Zone is giving them something tangible to actually see and get behind. Now they feel like they, they can be, you know, providing ideas and those ideas are taking into action. Now that we have these huddles, they actually realize that they're a big part of the picture. Very inspiring for me to see people from all levels jumping on board, running with Red Zone. It was, it was a culture change. And as soon as they were given that voice, boy, yeah. They let it be known, they let it be heard. Oh, this whole tool is, is about a communication. You know, I'm in meeting most of the time, so mm -hmm. kind of give that message to say, hey, line one is down, it's because of this, maintenance is working out, I'm like, okay, good. People are gonna work for you for money and they're gonna quit you for money. You know, that's the bottom line. But if you give them something to be part of, something to be to believe in, that's invaluable. They're gonna, they're gonna stay with you. Uh, we've had three employees that left the company for very good reasons, started a family, went back to school, things like that. They've come back to the company because they've heard, hey, I heard there's some really good things going on. Huge for us, for my team, especially being Spanish speaking, that I challenged them to do their chats in English. It was a challenge for them, but they're doing it. They have their opinion, they have their opinion, and we get together, okay, let's do this. and. We found some pretty significant cost savings. When you do these Kaizans, you're not just coming up with ideas and theories, you're actually going out on the floor and you're testing it and proving that it can be done. The startup for us was just a big one because we exceeded what we thought could be done. Capsulation was probably the largest scrap area in the plant. We were scrapping a lot of product per year and we did save over a million dollars the first year that we did that project. The at log is a great thing because it kind of helps us keep a log book. Uh, problems that we have with machines or problems that we have with certain products that we can go back and always look at as a reference to see what we can do to really help the process. They can look at that and say, okay, how do we optimize this as we put it through the system? We're, we're looking out for the quality because software manufacturing, you can't rework it. We have one shot to make it and if we don't make it right, at the end, it's, it's pretty much a total loss. We are both NSF and uh, just a couple months ago we got our USP certification and both auditors saw Red Zone, we, we worked with them and they were they were floored. The weighers in, in secondary were probably the most skeptical of everybody about doing Red Zone and did not want to change and now they do not want to go back. And, but we also, through the lean office, we're training our team captains and our leadership mm -hmm. to a higher standard mm -hmm. of leadership. So the goal is eventually every single person within the walls of this company is a, a lean practitioner. They know how to go off and solve and implement and make improvements across the board. What was amazing is that we were able to achieve a 48% uplift in productivity. We've experienced about a 25% increase. Um, it's been tremendous. So within less than a year, we're up about 60% uh, in productivity, right? My threshold of enterprises are a 20% overall plant productivity improvement. And we saw the benefits of the OE scroll and up. The results drive engagement, but it's kind of like the reverse as well. The engagement's driving results. 